हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल फ्यूजन नेक्स्ट जैन लर्निंग इफ यू फर्स्ट टाइम व्यूअर ऑन माय चैनल सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन टू गेट लेटेस्ट अपडेट फ्रॉम फ्यूजन नेक्स्ट जैन लर्निंग इन टुडेज डेमोस्ट्रेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वन मोर बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट लेट्स एज्यूम बिजनेस हैविंग द रिक्वायरमेंट दैट दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू हैव द इनवॉइसिंग इन केस ऑफ all the internal orders what it means let's assume business consuming some of the items for internal purposes but they don't want to have the invoicing in all those cases so to have this kind of requirement how we approach the solution and remove the invoice task from the orchestration we'll see it so now for the setup you have to go to the setup and maintenance within the setup and maintenance you have to go to the task once you click on task you have to go to the search once you click on search the task name is called manage orchestration process definition so this is the task name so you have to click on search let me search it yeah so as we can see that manage orchestration process definition so we'll create the process definition so once you click on the task what you have to do so you have to search any of the cd route so i'm typing d o o percent and i will click on search once i will click on search i can see that i am having three generic processes starting with the do so first one is do bill only generic process second one is do order fulfillment generic process third one is do submit sales order process so i will choose any of the process based on the business requirement and remove the invoice task let's assume i am choosing the order fulfillment generic process so business having said that they want to have the picking they want have the shipping but they don't want to have the invoicing so i choose the order do order fulfillment generic process so how i will create so i will duplicate it so while clicking on the duplicate it will automatically copy all the task all the status condition along with the fulfillment condition rules so it's best and easiest way in oracle fusion to customize purchase session and achieve your business requirement so i click on duplicate so let's wait yeah so now we can see that it get copied and it's created copy of custom do so i remove the copy of and i am adding with out invoice what it means so i am removing the invoice task from this orchestration process so while getting it defaulted to the fulfillment line i can easily track that this particular orchestration will not have the invoice task and it will not paste to the ar now this will also help you while associating this custom orchestration against the order type as well so now i set it up the process display name as same now after that what i have to do i have to click on save once i click on save it will save the records first once i saved after that i have to go to the scroll down once i scroll down you can see there are lot of steps definitions available so i have to search the invoice so i can see that after create shipment request wait for the shipment advice after that there is a merge task and after merging all the processes it's starting the create invoice and wait for invoice generation so i have to remove this two task from this 
step definition. So I just click on the create invoice. So what I will do, I will just select the create invoice and I will click on delete. So it would delete this particular task from the step definitions. After that, what is my next step is bid for invoice. So I have to remove this as well. So I will click on delete. I will click on yes and wait. So I can see that I have deleted two step definitions and it is stating that, that it's a merge. So once my shipment is done, the line, the fulfillment line will get automatically closed. Once you're done, what you have to do, you have to click on save. Once you save it, after that, you have to go to the status conditions. Once you click on the status conditions, within the status condition, we are having two options, orchestration process status values, as well as fulfillment line status values. So we have to remove the respective task from this two status conditions as well. So now what I did, I click on the orchestration. So currently we are in orchestration process status values. So I will scroll down and I will see where is my invoice. So let me scroll to the down. So as you can see that awaiting billing and build. So you have to remove these two tasks from this particular status condition. So I am clicking on the delete. So I clicked on delete. And after that, I clicked on build the status and I clicked on delete this build condition as well. Once I click both the status condition, you have to make sure that there won't be invoice is still be available. Otherwise, it will give you the error. So you have to click on save. So make sure each task you perform within the orchestration, session, you try to save your records. Once you save the record, what you have to do, you have to click on fulfillment line status values. Let's assume, unfortunately, if you leave the invoice task within the fulfillment line status values, and if you try to validate, you will get the error. So I will just demonstrate you that what error you would get if you have not removed the particular task from all these three steps. So you can see that it will give you the error task name invoice does not exit in the process, in this process definitions. So this kind of error, you will get it. So now to avoid this, you have to make sure that a step definition and within the status condition, gestation process status values, as well as the fulfillment line status values, you have to remove the invoice task. So I clicked on the fulfillment line status values. And once I click on the added status rule set, I have to click on yes. Once you click on yes, it will allow you to make the changes within the conditions. So now you have to scroll down and you have to see the invoice task. So let's see where is that invoice? Yeah, you can see that invoice awaiting billing as well as invoice build. So you have to click on your awaiting billing and you have to click on delete. Because of this task is present within the fulfillment line condition, we got the error. So make sure that it won't present within the orchestration if you are removing any task condition. So now I select the build. Now I click on delete. Once you click on delete, you have to click on yes. Once you deleted the task, what you have to do, you have to click on save the record. And after that, you have to do the save and close. Once you've done and deleted the invoice task from all three steps, you have to validate it again. So now if we are going to validate this orchestration, session, this error moved. So we'll go to the action. We'll do the validation again. 
once I click on the validate, let's wait for Archer session to give us the successful message. So now you can see that the information, the Archer session process is set up is being validated. So now we are good to go for the release and the deployment. So now again, for the release, you have to click on actions. You have to click on release. Once you click on release, you will get it that download generic process and the Archer session process was released. So now, now it's ready for us to deploy it. So the Archer session process was released. Now, what is our next step? We have to click on actions and we have to go to the and click on deploy processes. Once you click on deploy processes, what you have to do? You have to enter your username and password, which you are using to get logged in within the system. So once you click on the username and password, you have to click on deploy. Once you click on deploy, you have to wait the confirmation message. After the Archer session, it successfully deployed to the environment. So we'll wait for process to deploy it. So now we got the confirmation message that Archer session process successfully deployed to the environment. And now it's ready for us to use. So as I mentioned, so let's move to the step definition. As I mentioned, that once you remove the invoice task, after confirming the ship confirm, it automatically close your fulfillment line status. To validate, you can go to the generate process diagram where you can see that how the Archer session task going to work. So you can see that to following all the steps and the task, it is going to be merge so this merge is pointing you don't try to remove this because the all tasks coming to the merge and ending to this point so once you turn the pick and ship confirm it will close your fulfillment line and don't allow you to interface your fulfillment line to the ar as well so this is so this is how you can achieve this kind of requirement in oracle fusion after that, you have to just do the process assignment rule. You have to create it against the order type. For that, you can refer our previous videos where you can get it, the complete idea, how to assign the custom orchestration processes against the order type. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel, Future Next Gen Learning. Keep subscribing, keep watching, and we learn.